Hello everybody, this is Adrian from PyImageSearch.com. Today we're going to do a little tutorial on Deep Belief Networks using the uh, No Learn Deep Belief Network package. Uh, we're going to be classifying some handwritten digits from the MNIST uh, data set. Um, it's going to be pretty cool. So let's go ahead and uh, get, ourselves in, get ourselves set up. As you can see, I have uh, Virtual NV wrapper installed. I'm working in my uh, deep learning environment. I'm going to go ahead and install NumPy, uh, SciPy, and NoLearn, which again uh, contains our deep belief network implementation. So the first thing we got to do is let, let PIP uh, download these packages, install them, do the, do the heavy lifting for us. And then from there, we're going to be able to, um, to actually run these examples, which will be pretty, pretty exciting. So PIP's almost done here. Um, once it finishes up, yep, there we go. Let's go ahead and run our uh, run our deep belief network. Just changing directories. So there we go. So the first thing it has to do is download the data. I already have it uh, locally cached on my system. Um, essentially, what, what we're doing here is fetching fetching the data from an online repository. Again, once it's downloaded, downloaded and cached to your local system, and we'll have to do that. Um, from there, we're going to do a train test split with the data. Use uh, roughly 33% of it for, for testing our algorithm and the, re the rest of it for uh, training our deep, deep belief network. Um, here is where the actual deep belief network is trained. We'll uh, show a print print out a classification report, seeing how well our algorithm did. And finally, we're going to pull some uh, pull some examples um, and display them on a screen, which would be super cool to see. So right now, the algorithm is done training. We're waiting for the classification report to come back. It's basically going through and doing all the predictions uh, for our test set right now, which will take a, take a few seconds. So once this is done, we'll get a nice pretty classification report. So as you can see, classification report is done. Our algorithm was about 98% accurate, which is really, really good. Um, but let's see what, let's take a look at a few examples. So right here, we have a random sample from the data set, um, actual target label is four, and our network agrees, yep, that's four. So let's take a look at a few more examples. Looks like another four popped up. Again, we're accurately classifying. Classified a one correctly, five correctly, another four correctly, classified zero correctly, five, which is really cool because this five doesn't have much of a tail on it. The deep belief network was still able to classify correctly. Um, again, one's predicted correctly, zero, six, and uh, there you have it. That's the basics of using the deep belief network in Python. If you want a further code review, be sure to check out the rest of the blog post.